dog. Yeah, but let's see it on the dog. Yes, I do talk to myself when I'm working. Welcome back to another video. In my previous one, I finished the bedroom part of my attic and I started building a shelf that's going to act as a room divider, giving me some storage, but also letting light through the room. And my space was tidy for about five minutes until I began working on this shelf again. In this episode, I am continuing with storage and I'm rebuilding some shelves from IKEA. I'm just going to adapt them a little bit so that they fit into my slanted ceiling. I'm also doing some guerrilla gardening and picking some wild stuff for dinner. I guess I can actually put some stuff in here now. Really happy about it. And yeah, it just gives me a bit more confidence uh, now that I'm going to tackle the cabinets. Um, so uh, yeah, it just feels like... Now I feel like I can probably handle that. If I can make this, I can make that. Hopefully. Taking uh, the last stuff to the recycling station today uh, that we dug up uh, from the slope. really glad to get rid of that. It's actually the third time I'm at the recycling station this weekend. Uh, it has been a bit of my own stuff as well that I've thrown away, but still it's like three carloads of, uh, of trash. So uh, yeah, really happy to have a car. I don't know how people without a car would do this, uh, but um, yeah.
Bocca. board is a bit uh, wonky, um, the floorboard that I'm using, um, but um, uh, so yeah, I've really just had to push it down and uh, added little supports and stuff to make it sort of Ooh. force it down. First I thought that maybe the cabinets would like put enough weight on it to push it down, but I don't want to bet on that, so better safe than sorry. These are seeds from flowers that I just picked in the wild and uh, I've just dried them inside. I think that they need to be stratified. Uh, it's called stratified, I think. Um, which means that they need to be out in the cold for a bit um, and then they'll grow. Uh, there's still going to be some frost, so I'm going to stick them outside and uh, see if I get anything. They make like beautiful red flowers. I know so little names of flowers and plants and stuff in English, <laughs> but I'm learning. I did something that I think was pretty smart. I um, actually rented uh, a saw with uh, one of those things to yeah, make a straight cut. <laughs> Someone said in the comments what it's called, but I can't remember. Uh, anyway, I rented it. There is an app, uh, at least in Sweden, that's called Hygglo. And uh, there you can get in contact with other people in your area uh, that want to rent out stuff. Uh, so this one I rented for pretty cheap for one day, uh, so now I'm hopefully going to get pretty good cuts.
kind of do wonder where this saw has been my entire life. It's amazing. I want one so badly. But uh, it's good to know that someone in town has one and I can go and rent it off of him whenever I need it. But uh, yeah, I really do want one. And uh, yeah, now I'm kind of in a rush to uh, return it. Uh, I promised to be there by five. And uh, I don't have the car today, so uh, I gotta take it on the bicycle, which uh, should be interesting. <laughs> See how that goes. I was able to fit it inside of my bicycle bag, so that's a good start. easier to cycle with that than I thought. So that's good. I uh, cut out these pieces. I thought that maybe I would be able to use them as a cover up. But then I wasn't thinking about the spacing in between here. There's going to be a gap of like four centimeters. It's a tad bit annoying, but um, we'll see how I do about that. That's a different story. Prettiest hole, dot dot. I'm never gonna see that. I'm just gonna fix one more little detail um, and then I can start to actually put clothes in there. I couldn't finish yesterday uh, because I didn't have any of these and I'm intending to make uh, the side so that I can open it because I want to be able to store stuff behind there as well. I feel like that's the greatest thing about this is that I get tons of storage I can put like winter clothes and stuff that I'm not gonna use very often in the back so adding these
I want to see if I can propagate uh, sallow. I know I mentioned this tree in a previous video and I think I called it willow. Uh, it's a sallow. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, but I've tr I'm trying two different methods. One is uh, shorter shoots that I put in a bucket and these I'm going to put uh, straight into the place where I think that they should be. And I'm going to mark them with a bit of red yarn so I can see because there are so many shoots down there that uh, there is no way I would be able to identify, identify them after a while, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I uh, should probably mention that the land uh, close to the creek is not mine. It is. Uh, it belongs to the municipality. I'm kind of hoping to be this little, like, guardian angel for it. Um, and I have thought about contacting the municipality, asking sort of what's okay and what's not. Um, but I also think that, you know, introducing uh, a couple of trees down there that is really good for biodiversity can't be a bad thing. So I'm just going to do it. I guess it's a bit of like guerrilla gardening going on. Cheeky me! I'm thinking I'm going to put them in two very different places, because here they're kind of in a slope, so they get some evening sun, and then the others I'll put down there, and uh, yeah, I can compare how they're doing. These guys are something I know for sure shouldn't be here. Uh, they are really invasive and something that the municipality is here to check on um, every now and then, but they don't have that much resources that I know. So um, I'll take it upon me to remove them for now. Time to soap the rest of the floor. It's actually quite a lot. I'm not really looking forward to it, I gotta say. It's pretty hard work, you know? But, um, yep, it's gotta be done. 
Now is pretty good timing because I uh, don't have any furniture. Um, so uh, there's not much in the way, might as well. Soon I'll probably be moving out like all the building stuff from the long nook that's not finished. So then it's nice if the floor is protected. Tons of cold water. The floors have dried, uh, really happy about that. And now I feel like I can really use this space. Uh, the floors are protected and uh, yeah, I've uh, been able to put all my clothes in here. So happy about that. It's uh, really nice not to live out of bags and boxes and uh, whatever, uh, which I have been doing for a while. So uh, yeah, quite the upgrade. Uh, really happy about the little solution in the back where I got the little uh, the side to open. Thank you so much for all the comments about the shelf. Um, I am considering keeping it in the wood. Uh, yeah, peer pressure. Someone said uh, to just wait and uh, see how I feel about it and uh, that could be a later project and I think that's a good idea actually because I do really like it the way it is so I'm just gonna wait and see how it feels and if I change my mind I'll paint it. It's so nice not to have like a big project going on. I'm super keen on uh, continuing with the last bit of the attic but I'm also really happy to just have like a semi-tidy place and as soon as I start building it gets really messy so I might take a couple of weeks break from uh, doing that and spending more time in the garden or something. Uh, we'll see but um, I also have little bits of stuff to do. I'm gonna cover this up somehow. Oh yeah, I also have some like cladding to do around the opening for um, the ladder and stuff. So yeah, you know, never running out of projects. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, take care. See you in the next video.